As the woman exits her prison, she beholds a town stained red with both flame and blood. She is in a strange land, one she does not recognize. But she must find her sister. The woman runs and runs and runs. dashes toward the sound. The thing standing before her was once her sister. But now, all trace of her former self has been lost to the sorting. Forces sighted. Her transformed little sister trembles, as if trying to remember something. The moment her sister is cut down in front of her, the woman loses all control. Even when her enemies are no more than mangled hunks of flesh, she cannot stop. Finally, the woman cradles her sister in her arms and gazes at her blood-stained face. dark as night itself was now pure white yet the hairpin still glinted from atop the sister's head the woman was alone her fate was sealed and so she swore a vow to her sister the fires of her revenge would rage until they consumed the entire kingdom People need goals and hopes in order to live their lives. And for her, revenge was itself a form of hope. you need to reclaim. Come now. The next fragment is waiting for you.
Oh my, this is Mama's room. Dear me, it looks like we have trouble again. Mama will have to deal with this on her own. I sense dark foes on the other side of that door. I keep stories that I'm still restoring. The dark foes have been sneaking in so much lately. We need to chase them out so we can restore the stories. Let's try a subquest, shall we? I shall take care of you. Continuing mission. These are the soldiers who battle the flowers that threaten humanity. They are treated no better than prisoners. Their every action and thought regulated and overseen as they are thrown without mercy into the maw of an endless war. One day, a pair of voices echo out from their base. They belong to a young recruit and his instructor. The recruit has made countless appeals to fight on the front lines, but the instructor has refused him every step of the way. Their constant back and forth has continued without pause from the moment they met. I will kill every last flower, even if it means my life, cries the recruit. The boy burns with his desire to fight. He seeks revenge against the flowers, the killers of his one true love. But rather than respond with anger of her own, the instructor gently urges him to reconsider. You need to focus on survival. You only get to die once. But such kindness reminds him of his late love, and only... Once she sees what I'm capable of, she'll understand. The recruit has devoted himself to training with that one thought in mind. And though it never gained much traction with his instructor, 
he decides to make her a proposal. If I get top marks in our next virtual drill, you have to let me go on a mission. Before she can respond, he turns on his heel and exits the barrack. He needs to fight. He his entire will is bent upon it. I'll cut down everything in my way. <laughs> I have no time for this. Enemy forces in sight. I've got enough death for everyone. I'll cut down everything in my way. Continue your mission. <laughs> I have no time for this.